All right, here we go. Mount Rushmore of Eddie Murphy movies. I'm going to give you mine just so everyone knows what the correct answers are. <laughs> and then we'll listen to the nonsense that Crowder and Solana have put together. <laughs> but this is the uh, unequivocal Mount Rushmore of Eddie Murphy movies. 48 hours. Beverly Hills Cop. Ah, well, ah, well. <laughs> It's like a dog to scratch. <laughs> Delirious. Mm -hmm. And Harlem Nights. Boy, oh, you had some on there, huh? The only problem. Well, I know you're going to have life on there. You got caught up in the buddy cop movies. You can't 48 have hours. Two, you have two buddy cop 48 movies. 48 hours, there. put them on the map. And Beverly Hills Cop improved. Upon 48 hours, Delirious, if you've never seen that stand-up comedy film, is one of the all-time greats. That's where he's wearing the red jumpsuit. Mm -hmm. And Harlem Nights, that cast is just so strong. It's not just Eddie Murphy who plays quick, and he's good. Red Fox, Bro. Della Reese, Richard Pryor. Yeah. There's 30 comedians in there. It's movie. great. It's great. So you already called out two of mine, which are on the list, hands down. Harlem Nights, you're right. If that's not on your list, you never watched it. And Life is my favorite movie, not just of Eddie Murphy. I know. And, and it's it, great. I You turned me on to it. it. It really is fantastic. Two comedians freestyling a prison movie, and it's just a genius movie. I yep. love it. My, Like I said, between that and Pulp Fiction, one, two movies of my life. You throw Avatar at number two or three. Life, Harlem Nights. I put Raw and Delirious on one line because I didn't okay. know about the stand up. Gotcha. And how did you leave off coming to America? I had a difficult time doing so because it was either Harlem Nights or coming to America for me. Yes. And I, I love them both. Harlem Nights, though, I'm telling you, because of the cast, mm -hmm. I just, I just love that movie. Although, He's probably funnier in Coming to America than he is Harlem Nights. Because Harlem Nights, he shared the he's, he shared the and and he's not the funny funny guy. He's more of the smooth yeah, guy. I'm serious, yeah. Man. yeah. Richard Pryor is the star of Harlem Nights. Right. Eddie Murphy's a star of Coming to America. Right. Solana, let's hear how you wreck Eddie Murphy's birthday. Oh, don't do that. I thought both of your Mount Rushmore's were great. I watched Coming to America simply because you two made it seem like it was Eddie Murphy's best movie of all time. I had never seen it. I watched it the day before Coming to America 2 came out, and I thought it was hilarious. Like, I thought it. Coming to America's great. Yeah. Like, wipers. It, <laughs> <laughs> I love when his dad leans in by the elephant. I assume you were having sex with your babies. <laughs> I do. <laughs> one of the few movies you guys have told me to watch that holds up. And it may be one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. Yeah, yes. it's great. So yeah. is it on your list? No. Okay. <laughs> Gotta hear this. I lobbed it up for him. Shrek. I mean, come on. <sighs> Don't even see him. <laughs> so? I mean, yeah, it's a cartoon. Like, yeah. yeah, like, how could that be on his Mount Rushmore of movies? You're joking, right? Does no. he play Shrek? <laughs> Who plays Shrek? Mike Myers. Mike Myers. He's donkey. Yes. Mike Myers. I don't even think was supposed to play Shrek. It was supposed to be who's the uh, the fat guy that that was on SNL that died. That Chris Farley. Chris Farley hmm. and Mike Myers. They had almost finished Shrek with Chris Farley passed away. Mike Myers did it in Eng in his normal accent. And then forced the studio to redo the whole thing in a Scottish accent. And they lost a bunch of money doing it. Obviously made it back. Shrek ended up being huge. Yeah. Like a huge. Shrek speaks in a Scottish accent during the movie? It, it, <laughs> I don't know. Accent. I don't know accents. I don't think it was Scottish. It's, it's an accent. I feel like this is his weekend story. I think this whole thing is made he up. He made this up. Because I have never this, heard this before. You make up this entire thing. That Solana. may have been made up. Look up, though. Chris I mean, it's, it's wildly specific. <laughs> he had me, too. I'm staring at the glass. It's wildly like, wow. specific, but it, 
<laughs> but I think it might be made up. It may have been made up. I may have dreamt Chris that. Chris Farley Shrek. Google that. All right. <laughs> you are. Oh, look at that. Crap. Chris Farley was at the height of his career. With his career's upward momentum continuing, Farley was cast as Shrek before his death in December 1997. He had reportedly completed about 85% of the dialogue. Look at you. Then they brought in Mike Myers. He did the whole thing in English, like in normal, his normal American accent. And then he decided, because he's a creative genius, mm -hmm. that he wanted to do it in an accent. Maybe it's not Scottish, but it's some sort of, you know, dialect of, it of the UK. It says fictional biography. Shrek is a large, green-skinned, physically intimidating ogre with a Scottish accent. Boom. Huh. I he happen got the to know entire story right. That's crazy. Happen to know a lot about Shrek. Great cartoon. Anyways, can oh, I can continue on here with my Mount Shrek Rushmore accent? Let me just see if you really got that correct. What are you checking multiple sources now? I mean, yeah, nobody does that, Solana. You're right. Mike Myers, who is of Scottish heritage, suggest suggested a Scottish accent. It's a working people accent. Wow, you've got this entire story right. This Boom. is Good job, so Solana. beyond shocking. I don't even know what to do with it. I was so unsure of it as I was saying it, too. <laughs> wow. So remarkable. All right, go ahead. So you've got Shrek. Shrek. Mulan. <laughs> I don't even know what he that is. He was in Mulan? He's Mushu in Mulan. Who's Mushu? <laughs> You're joking, right? He's the dragon. The mini dragon. He's like a lizard. Mushu. I thought Mushu was something else. All right. Shrek 2. <laughs> now, hear me out. Hear me out. Not better than Shrek 1. But I happen to believe it's one of his best roles. Right. The way he builds on the character of Donkey. It's unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> he takes Donkey to a new level. <laughs> as much as you thought you knew Donkey... Donkey so deep in that yeah. movie. And then No, you get you get an actual yeah. glimpse of who Donkey really is. Well, if you happen to love Shrek too. <laughs> to round out my Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Man, you're gonna love Donkey and Shrek the third. It's funnier than anything Eddie Murphy's done in the last <laughs> 20 years. Turns all into right. a stallion. There you go. All right. I, 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 I take it all back. Mine was incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> and Solana's is right Good on. Good job, Solana. Shrek, Mulan, Shrek 2, Shrek the 3rd. <laughs> all right. Let's get headlines here. <laughs> Happy birthday, Eddie Murphy. Let's get headlines here for the 5 o'clock Funky Buddha Eddie happy hour. Eddie Murphy hates your list. <laughs> Um, they're driven by the new Palmetto Ford truck. Super. I was going to go like Dr. Doolittle. I think I nailed it though with that. I mean, there's some good ones up there. Um, Nutty uh, Perfect, sir. I'm sorry. Nutty Perfect. What's his name? Noster Hustable. Noster Hustable. Nutty Perfect is good. Norbit. You don't like Norbit. Norbit's hilarious. Perfector. 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 <laughs> <laughs> real good at your job. I'd have seen it if it was Nutty Profexter. <laughs> Somebody texted something funny. Solana's fourth should have been all other movies. He's done a voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see Daddy Daycare? Terrible. Terrible. Oh, I love that movie, <laughs> yeah, man. Terrible. Wasn't there one with Cuba Gooding Jr. in it, too? Wasn't he in no With Eddie Murphy? Yeah. Mm. Wasn't he in a Daddy Daycare? Trading Care? Places was a great movie. Trading Places. That was new cool. movie on Netflix is funny uh, with, Jonah with Jonah Hill. Hill. I haven't seen yeah. it yet. It's funny. Um, there, there's, a, there's a bunch. Oh, Golden Child. Someone just texted it. Golden, Golden Child. Child's a great that should have movie. been on my list. It's really difficult because he's had, he's had as many bad movies as good ones, but the good ones are great. I was just going to say, he hadn't made a movie that I think should make the list since the turn of the century. It's been a long time. If you if you exclude the animated movies, it's then nothing. it's really few and far between. Boomerang was a good movie. 
and then him being him, because for some reason, once he put those fat outfits on, he couldn't not stop not being somebody else. Right. Yeah, he got he got into a little uh, realm where he was just doing those. Sherman Clump yeah. and then Norbit. Yeah. Then the old Asian dude in Norbit. Like he, he got into the costumes crazy. 